it's an imbalance right now, and that's always seems to be how it is. There's always a really dry place, and if there is one, there's going to be a pretty wet place somewhere on the globe, especially in our country. Is the same way. Uh, right now, though, we're looking at the rain that's going to increase across the area into Friday and Saturday. We'll have some scattered showers early tomorrow and all through the day. May see a couple peaks of sunshine, but in general, the clouds will hold pretty tight throughout the day. In the mountains, starting in the upper 30s, making it to 49 by lunchtime, 54 spotty light rain. It's going to be nuisance stuff on Friday, enough to hey, slow you down a little bit on the roads. Nothing that's going to be a very big deal, but will not be the brightest, prettiest day. We've had some nice ones, but today or tomorrow, we're going to be giving a six on the sky meter. Today was a perfect 10, and yesterday was almost a perfect 10, too, but yeah, not so much anymore. In fact, we're going to be going pretty low on the ratings the next few days. You can see the cloud covers really taking over across the area. We can see again a light shower to develop. We're going to start to see that develop mainly along our southern mountains, uh, but in the upstate we'll have that potential too. And as we look off toward the west, still the main system hasn't taken shape yet, but seeing some rain fall across Arkansas. The main focus for severe weather tomorrow is going to be well off to our west. In fact, around the Arklatex region here, uh, Shreveport included in this. And then as the line pushes off toward the east, it's going to weaken a bit, but New Orleans going to get in on some of that rain. So if you're heading down there tomorrow for the national championship game, keep that in mind. Now for Saturday, I think a lot of folks will be flying out to the Big Easy or possibly driving toward the southwest. You'll be driving right into the greatest severe weather threat right up along the Gulf Coast. That's where we have an enhanced risk of severe weather goes up to Birmingham, but then it weakens as it gets into our area. But the green does mean that we're going to still be in a slight threat. We're going to be looking at a smaller threat of severe weather, isolated storms possible. So green doesn't mean we're in the clear, but it certainly means we're on the lowest level of severe weather risk. That could change, but right now it doesn't look too, too bad. Now let me show you on Futurecast, isolated showers throughout Friday. Notice that it just doesn't get too exciting on Friday, but enough to be a frustration for sure on the roads. Clouds will be in place, a northeast breeze. It'll stay fairly cool outside. And then as we go into the day, on Saturday. Notice that we get some heavier downpours right up along the north South Carolina border. We'll be waiting on that widespread rain to really pick up into the evening and look at this heavy rain. It'll move through quick. This is not going to be a huge flood threat, but we could have localized flooding and with this line, it'll be weakening. Severe threat will be lower, but gusty winds, heavy rain, thunder. You'll likely hear some of that going into Saturday night. Could happen pretty late around 11 p.m. Timing is helping us, though, since we lose the heat of the day. Uh, it will cause these storms to be a little less strong as, than if they were arriving during the afternoon or evening. And then the rain starts to push off toward the east. We clear out for Sunday, but we may actually get a few showers in the forecast for Sunday late evening into the overnight hours. So the rain does not go away by any stretch after that line of storms moves through. But we should at least get a bit of a reprieve on Sunday, a 30% chance for rain, not a 90% like what we're dealing with on Saturday. And then in the next week, off and on rain, we'll have waves of it basically as a front stalls out on top of our area and just keeps being the focus for more shower and thunderstorm activity. And then we'll finally clear out and get a little cooler heading into Thursday, but it's going to be mild for quite some time. Be sure to tune in on The Morning News from 4.30 to 9. Meteorologist Isaac Williams will be there to bring you the weather. And, of course, Chris Scott with traffic every 10 minutes.